From a darkened world, bounded by four walls, a young lady suffering from the severest form of ME begins to overcome this devastating condition. She starts to unfold her wings like a butterfly, taking its first flight. This time, from beneath the shades, she gets a glimpse of a world far different from the one she remembers. But how? It's never been done before. My name is Jessica, and welcome to my world. I wrote this story to give myself a voice at a time that I had nothing due to being completely incapacitated with a condition. I've now found my voice again after being lost without it for so long and want this book to be a medium in which I'm able to share my story of severe ME, one of the most misunderstood conditions of its time. ME stands for myalgic encephalomyelitis. It remains a little known neurological chronic condition that is more commonly known as chronic fatigue syndrome. As this is a chronic condition, it doesn't just go away. This book follows four years of my life, from going from a normal, healthy teenager to being completely incapacitated on machines keeping me alive. I realised that whilst I was voiceless, there must be many more suffering with no hope. I now have found my voice again and want this book to be the medium of my experience with severe ME. I'm crowdfunding because I believe this is a project that needs to be heard. It will enable me to make the book through a self-publishing route and make it more accessible for people all around the world. The plan is to do an audiobook, an e-book, a hardback book and also a paperback. This wouldn't be possible without your help. So first of all, thank you for visiting my crowdfunding campaign. You can help me reach my goal by sharing this book through the hashtag Behind Dark Glasses. There are ways you can buy a version of the story with exclusive Kickstarter rewards of posters and bookmarks. You can also make a donation without a reward if you would like. Please share my story through Facebook, Twitter and any other social media. Emmy sufferers should no longer suffer in silence.